Hi, I'm Rina. I am a PhD candidate in robotics, and this is This Week in Robots. Have you ever been creeped out by a robot that looked almost human? Maybe it moves in a creepy way. Maybe it tries too hard to look like a human, but is still not quite there. That unsettling feeling is called the uncanny valley. Now, uncanny valley has become a hugely popular term that we hear and use a lot. But this week, I want to talk a bit about the history around this term. So, the uncanny valley was first introduced by Japanese roboticist Misahiro Mori in 1970. He noticed that as robots look more and more human, our feeling towards them generally become more positive as we start to see them as one of us. But once they get too close to looking human without actually being human, our emotional response suddenly drops into a valley. That is the uncanny valley, the dip in our emotional response when something is almost but not quite real. And it's not that they are scary; it's that our brains notice tiny mismatches in face, motion, or voices, and they trigger a creepy feeling of discomfort. And this phenomenon happens a lot in animated films. A good example being the 2004 Polar Express, where people found the movie to not be cute and festive, but eerie and creepy. And we often call this bad CGI. But this is also the uncanny valley in action, where we're experiencing that dip in effect. For roboticists, the uncanny valley is a big deal. Robots are increasingly designed to interact with people, helping in hospitals, classrooms, or homes, and trust plays a huge role in how we accept them. If a robot looks too much like a human but still behaves in a robotic or awkward way, people can find it unsettling, and that can make it harder for users to connect or even want to use the robot at all. That's why a friendly, cartoonish face for a robot often works better than an ultra-realistic appearance. And in the end, what makes robots effective isn't how human they look, but how they feel to be around. That's all I've got for this week. I'll see you next week.